record are you? 58? 60? <laughs> pretty close, pretty close. The destination for today's motovlog is not set. I have really no idea where I'm going. I'm going down a particular road and then we're gonna find what we end up finding. And there's probably rocks in the corner. There's rocks, there's sand, just like every other freaking Georgia corner. Too much bikes over here. What is this? Uh, I think I found a random bike shop. Let's turn in here real quick. Why not? How's it going, man? Good. Join this heat? Yeah. <laughs> I was just riding by and I saw like a bunch of bikes over here, so I was like, is this a bike shop down here? Little bike shop right yeah. here in the middle of nowhere. Yeah? How long have you guys been out here? Uh, believe it or not, I don't even work at this one. Oh, okay. I used to own another shop, now I'm able to build airplane cabinets and the One Busa. Bunch of gold wings. This was something that I can't tell what it is. Someone please identify this bike for me. Apparently the dude was telling me like this guy's really good at fixing stuff. He really trusts them. He really knows the stuff. There's definitely a lot of old bikes in here. Old Ducati back here. Shit. Valve covers off. You can see all that stuff going on in there. I think this is a GS500. tiny bike shops like that they're kind of like freaking interesting because you know you get to know the owners and everything a lot more than going to a dealership and all the other kind of stuff <laughs> some of the bikes in there were, were a little bit a little bit sketch I'll say but they're old bikes you know it just proves that that people are used to uh, bringing their old stuff that other shops don't want to go to like other shops don't want to work with basically uh, it doesn't mean they're bad bikes I mean, I've been to a shop before around here that's a pretty good shop, but they told me that they pretty much cut off at like 10 years. Like if your bike is older than 10 years, they're not going to come and service it. Oh, a turtle! Mista turtle. Bloop, 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 bloop. It'll get you way off the road here. You don't wander your ass back. Look at you! Look at you! You're a, you're like a tortoise. Is that what you are? Whoa! Whoa, little guy. Yeah, you're a tortoise. Oh, you're a snapping tortoise. Whoa! Uh... <laughs> You're facing me now, too. I'm just trying to get you off the road. All right, so You're not happy with me here. I'm not happy with you here Let's go. Let's go and make this as quick as possible. 
Here you go. <laughs> Jesus. Wow, you see that guy? All right. Bye-bye, guy. <laughs> you stay there. Don't go back in the road. <sighs> I used to have uh, one of those tiny little, like, I don't know, a, a turtle as big as, like, a silver dollar, like, this freaking big. I got him from the fair, and I love that guy. He was so freaking awesome. But, well, that was, that was like a tortoise or whatever, I, I don't know, what, whatever the mammalia is of that thing. Um, I had it for like six months, and I remember, and I was living in an apartment at the time, and I had this little tank there, and I had it on like one of those little bar areas, you know, near your kitchen. And I went out one day, and I came back home, and that whole tank was completely like green and brown. And it was because uh, above in the ceiling, my neighbor in the apartment upstairs, I guess they had a water leak or some shit, and it went through the ceiling and dripped right into his tank, and the little guy was dead. Oh, and a deer! Shit! Homie! <laughs> I gotta let my heart go down. <laughs> so let it be known, there are deer out here. They don't only come out during the night. <sighs> wow, that's pretty cool right there. Um, but if they do come out, they come out in pairs. <laughs> uh, maybe driving down country roads isn't the best thing to do on a motorcycle.